Hey guys, welcome back to Joy Play Customs. Uh, this video is just going to be a uh, basic rundown of 2022 plans, everything we want to do, um, and all the content that's going to be out this year, all the cars on the channel, um, hopefully more cars that we might be getting. Just depends, eh? Um, I guess I'll start with the red GQ you've all seen before. Um, things having a bit of trouble right now. Uh, it's not idling. Um, thinking it's a fuel pump. Uh, the injector pump so i'm gonna try and get that rebuilt i think that's the cheapest way to do it i'm not after more power right now if i want more power later in the track i'll um i'll most likely do an engine swap it's it's a lot of money to get power out of a out of a diesel compared to a petrol you know i, I know some people love diesels but I, I don't know how easy it is to get reliable power out of a barra or an ls or even an rb30 um you know, it's just, you spend a lot of money on a TV to get power. Um, we know people that have, and, you know, it, it, it's cool, but, you know, it's, it's worth it to get power out of the petrol. But I'm not really chasing power, I'm chasing reliability at this point, so I think fixing the injector pump is definitely the way to go right now. Um, I'm looking to get that rebuild at a local place near me. Um, once that's all done, I'll give them a shout-out on Instagram or something like that. Um... I'm not sure if they're going to be able to do it for me yet, so I'm not going to say anything yet. Um, aside from that, it's all been running pretty good. It's pretty healthy right now. Um, I do have to re-tap a thread on the airbox, but that's only a temporary fix. Um, I'm getting a new airbox and uh, stainless snorkel, so I'm not too worried about that. It's just it's just a bit rattly, but I'll just tap a new thread and put another bolt in it, and it should be pretty quiet again. Um, next thing I want to fix on it really is the rust. It's 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 quite bad now. It's um well it's not quite bad but it's it's gonna get bad if I don't get to it now. Uh the quarters are all the worst spots. The gutters are really clean. Everything else is pretty clean. Like the rear guard is a bit you know a bit bad but that's always fixable. Like you can always weld a little bit of panel in there and uh, uh, most panel beaters are quite good now. Um I'm not that good at panel beating at all, so I prefer to spend the money there and get it done really good and have the thing really nice and then get a bit of bar work to protect it. Like, I'm not after an immaculate show car, but I do want it a bit straighter and less rust than there is. Um, and there's a bit of bog in that car that I want cut out and want to be actual metal. Uh, it's just a bit, bit stronger if I ever do hit another quarter again. Um, it just makes it easier to cut and weld a new bit in. Um, the next thing I've got is new guards, front and left. Both my front, right and left guards are cooked. Like one of them has rusted through where all the bolts are go. Um, and the other one's all caved in where the snorkel is. So I just want to get rid of them, get new guards so I can go stand and get a shorter entry one. Um, I think they look better. They suit the pillar pretty well. They um, go with the body lines of the car quite well. So. I want to do that before I go for a stano because otherwise I feel like I'd be wasting money. Um, you know, it wouldn't fit the body that well, and you know, I'm gonna paint the car too, so you know, I want it all done after that and all looking nice. Um, I'll put a photo of what I'm gonna paint it as. Um, I'm thinking doing a two tone red and sort of a really dark gray, uh, it's almost black, but it's not quite black. Um, a bit like the R31 JDSTs. Um, because they're basically the same color. Uh, it's a Nissan dark red is um pretty much the same on all their cars from the '90s, so it should fit pretty well if I just get those paint coats. Um, I won't have to take back that much red, um, which makes it a lot easier to paint. Um, other colors, you know, it can be hard. It won't take to old paint, but it should take pretty well because it's the same color. Just click it over and um. You know, make it as clean as I can. I want to do a few cuts of clear coat so I can stop the rust from happening. Um, clear coat fades quite bad, obviously in Australia. You know, clear coat fade is huge over here. Um, yeah, other than that, pretty much just little things. You know, I want to rip the redraw setup out. Um, I absolutely hate the way it's set up right now. I want to do a new setup in the back. Um, I want to do a bit of bar work. I want to get some scrub bars made um I, i'll probably have a crack at making them i'm all right on the welder so it's just a matter of borrowing a tube bender and i should be sweet then uh 
There is a rear bar I'm thinking about going with, which has a bit of protection for my rear, um, rear quarters. So I quite like that. I'm thinking about getting that. It's, um, I'll put a link down below and I'll flash a picture up. Uh, it's quite a cool looking bar. I think it would suit my car well. It's just I need to know whether they can make it to suit a body lift or if I'll have to modify it myself. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not too fussed either way. I just want to know. Um, other than that, I guess I want to do headlights and a bit of 12 volt stuff, um, you know, inverter stuff that's good for just a weekender away. Um, I'm not looking to do really much long range touring or going away for weeks or anything like that. I, I just don't have the time with work. So most of this stuff would be based around doing weekenders and maybe week long trips away or doing big trips, maybe, you know, for if you're going away on a holiday period, showing you how you can do it then. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all the plans for the Red GQ right now. I'm sure I'll get other ideas in my head and I'll decide I want to do something different or something cool. Obviously I want a new bull bar. I don't like the way the bull bar looks. I want to get the winch working. There's lots of little things that I need to do, but the main things I really need to do is clean up the body. That's a huge thing for me and the engine bay is quite quite messy with all the wiring, so I want to get that sorted out too. So it's pretty much that for the Red GQ. Um, We've got another car, Aiden's car. He's usually behind the camera, but he's got himself a Leaf All Round GQ Ute. Um, it's a TD42. It's had a new head on it. Um, I don't even know how many Ks it got. It's pretty fresh, the new head. So it's a pretty healthy engine. Um, a little bit of stuff to, to work out on that. It, it, it can get warm, but the radio is quite, um, quite old and full of scale and rust. So I think once we do the radiator and water pump, it should sort itself out pretty well. It's been a while since that's been done. Um, pretty much it's stock as you haven't seen it yet. There'll be a rundown on that soon. Um, it's probably the next video I'll make. Uh, it's pretty low, so it needs lift, tires, um, you know, new shocks, new, all that kind of stuff. Um, we're probably gonna see how we can go with doing um, some drop shackle stuff. We're gonna see, you know, how much flex we can get out of it because it is leaf all round. We we want to see what you can get out of a leaf all round car because he bought that a lot cheaper than you know most other GQ patrols would be, and it's a reliable engine, chassis strong, everything like that's quite strong. We just want to see what you can do. Like it's a bit less money, and um, it's probably gonna be stronger. Um. We need to do tray. The tray on that thing is it's really bad. It's not, you know, it, it's too big. It's a bit ag, agricultural. Um, really needs a new, a bit of a freshen up there, and, and um, it's it's all rusty. So we just want to pull it off uh, and just go with a new tray. Probably give us a lick of paint. We'll see what we do. I don't know if we'll build anything to the tray. If we'll build a small toolbox or anything like that. But you know, that's for later on down the track. We uh, we're just working on getting getting it ready to full be pretty much um, and um, doing all the basic stuff that it needs to be done, you know, oil changes and all that kind of stuff. No, it's not too hard. Um, uh, it needs a bit of bar work. It needs a new front bar and sliders and brush bars. So, you know, we do want to keep the body clean because it is really clean on it. So, the camera did die. Um, The body on that thing is really clean. It's been resprayed in um, a sandy top, so it's a better than a better than a seventy nine will ever be. Um, you know, it's got all the all the all the mod cons have been a Nissan, so it's really good. Um, you know, other than that, I think some basic twelve volt, maybe a turbo. Uh, we're not sure how long down the line we're going to put that in. Um, it's quite reliable as it is. Uh, we've got to run that in and um, do a fair few things like that. So probably not for a little bit. And the exhaust will come when we do the turbo. So, you know, all that sort of stuff needs to happen a bit later down the track. Uh, you know, it, it's quite reliable as it is. So we don't want to play around with it too much until a later date. We want it to be ready to do full driving rather than, you know, just have a turbo. I mean, it is slow, but better to be able to get up being having clearance and having big tires than to just 
you know, diff out and everything and have a cool turbo sound. <laughs> so, um, you know, that's, that's basically all the plans for the Leafy. Um, as I said, rundown coming on that really soon. Uh, hopefully, you know, sometime in the next week. Um, I'm in ISO right now. So, you know, that's not happening anytime soon. That's why you're getting this video. Um, yeah, that's pretty much that for the Leafy. Uh, I think the next car we're going to do is sort of like a bush pig winch truck sort of thing. Probably won't enter it in any winch events this year. Um, we'll see if we can do an open class event, maybe, you know, a, a street legal event. But, um, you know, uh, probably just going to be a bush pig, a trailer pig at the point, uh, at the time being. So, um, you know, for that, we're looking at the typical cheap petrol LM106 Hilux, something solid axle, um, maybe a really fried, frapped out GQ would be good. Uh, TB42 or RB30 Carby manual, just something that you can thrash that's already kind of cooked. It's got heaps of rust in the body, that sort of stuff. We don't want to ruin something quite nice that's expensive. We want something really cheap that's quite thrash that we can just keep beating on. Um, you know, that will be later down the track, probably sometime after, you know, July, August, later in the year. Um, we've got a, a lot of money to spend on our cars right now, so that's a bit the back end of the year. So, you know, we will try and get something like that or even maybe a budget forward drive to do, you know, a bit of budget touring or budget trips, weekenders, just to show you what you can do on a really small budget. Um, that's pretty much that for other cars that for me and Aiden, who are basically the main two you'll see on this channel all the time. Um, you know, the rest of the year, we're hoping to do a fair few trips. Um, at the end of the year, we are hoping borders open back up. We want to go to Japan and do a lot of car culture stuff over there. Um, you know, if you're into JDM cars the way we are, you'll know about Daikoku PA, all those sort of places. Um, want to go see obviously Ebisu, um, lots of places like that, lots of car related stuff over there we want to do. Um, so we will be recording a fair bit over there if we can go, you know, if we can't go this year, maybe a street car will be on the table. Um, we're really chasing something a bit like that right now. So, you know, um, but fingers crossed we can go to Japan and a street car will be at a later date, you know, we're well, I get my full license this year. I'm no longer on my P plates, so I'll be able to make a bit more power and um, have something a little bit cooler, you know, to drive around. Um, we also want something that's a bit reliable too. So we want something not many other people have. We're thinking 1UZ Turbo Cressida, um, quite reliable, powerful, but pretty cool at the same time. It's basically a Mark II chaser, but what we got over here. Um, you know, we also want to go to the snow in Victoria, maybe do a high country trip. We're not real sure on that yet. Um, have more fit to me details on that. I know we're going to do a Queensland trip this year sometime. So for us, that's about, you know, a nine hours away, 10 hours away. We're around Sydney area. So we want to go do Glasshouse Mountains, Fraser, Morton Island, those sort of things, all the, you know, regular touristy sort of four-wheel drive destinations there. Not sure about Cape York. Cape York's a bit long range touring and you know, we're not sure if we'll get the time off to do that. Um, this, it'll probably be a big holiday for us to do um, a Queensland trip. So, you know, while working, juggling that, uh, we want to do that definitely this year. It's some cool content coming for that. Um, and, you know, for everyone else's cars or the other cars you see on this channel, um, you know, there's another GQ, that one of our friends have. We've got two friends that have more GQs. Uh, one of them is doing a barrier swap. Um, one of them's just been manual swapped. You know, we're, we're just going to show them off doing full drive trips. Um, probably not going to see as much content from them because they're a bit far away from where we live, so it's a bit hard to record that. Um, and hopefully, uh, one of our mates is buying an LM 106 soon, so we'll be doing a lot of work to that. It'll just be relatively stock, so all the lift, tyres, everything they get it flex really good and drive really well. So we're doing a fair bit of work on that. Um, and I guess that's kind of it for all the cars and trips we're going to do. I guess, you know, 
we've got a lot more planned in terms of content. Um, you know, we want to do it for a fair few, like rig walkarounds, reviews, whatever you want to call them, you know, um, we want to get some cool cars and show them off and show everything about them. Um, there's a fair few near where we live and we really want to, you know, showcase everyone's cars and show you lots of different things, like lots of ideas for other people, what you can do. Um, you know, we, uh, we're, we're quite open to most builds. We think it's all pretty cool. Um, and we just want to show it off. So hopefully do a fair few of them this year. Um, you know, we want to test out some, uh, some brands maybe, uh, and do some challenges, you know, we can get more flex, more fuel economy, uh, driving challenges, all that sort of stuff. Um, you know, first person to get up and drive something or first person to do this camping challenges. Um, we want to do a lot more camping trips, you know, show off lots of great places you can camp near us. Um, great four wheel tracks. We want to explore a fair bit more this year too. So lots of that. Um, I think we want to do a reasonable amount of shed content this year. There's lots of cars that need to be worked on, as I've spoken about. Um, mine, Aiden's, uh, everyone else's cars, so they'll need stuff done to it, little bits. We want to record and show you everything you can do for, um, for your car. We pretty much just trying to get it all together. Um, yeah, there's lots of people on the channel that are, that are, that are learning, I'm still learning, um, but we we have a crack at doing it ourselves because you know it's it's expensive to have a mechanic. Like to take your car to the mechanic every time something a little breaks, it, it can rack up quite a bill. You know, if you can learn to do stuff yourself, um, it, it, you save a lot of money. You save a real lot of money doing it yourself. And um, you know, everyone can learn to do an oil change. Everyone can learn to you know fix a snap wheel start or everything like that. You know it. It's not hard to learn. It's just a matter of getting out there and not being afraid to do it. So we do want to show you how you can do all those things. Well, that being said, we're not perfect. We're still learning as well. But, you know, we want to show what we've learned and the mistakes we've made. Um, and basically, that's it. Other than more driving videos, doing more four-wheel drive stuff, I guess. That's around all we've got for this year. Um, we're hoping that we can, you know, put out a video once a week, once a fortnight. Uh, we're going to try and keep it consistent. It, it's been quite hard with the whole COVID situation. I've been locked up for the last week. Um, other people have been locked up for other weeks. Um, I know it can be hard, um, but, you know, it's just the way life is right now. Uh, we all just want to do everything we can to get back out there and go back to normal and just uh, get back in the car community and do all that sort of stuff. So um, that's pretty much it for 2022. The next video coming out will be a rig rundown. We'll be showing it off and all the plans for it. Uh, you know, we're hopefully going to get cracking on doing a lift for it. He's been looking at lifts now. I'm just trying to push him there so he can uh, he can he can buy it and we can uh, get it in. So you know, hopefully that'll be soon as well. Um, thanks for watching. You know, videos every fortnight, every week. Uh, subscribe, like, check out our socials. They'll be in the links below. We've got plenty coming this year. So thanks for watching. Have a good one.